Now, back to the Hope Matters radio show with financial expert James Hope. Each week at this time, it's real-time real estate. Whether you are active in the market or will be soon, your success when buying, selling, or investing in real estate is dependent on staying ahead of the market. Making the informed decision in an ever-changing market can be done with the help of the Delaware Valley's top real estate agents who are part of the Hope Matters radio team. Here's Amy Shea of Keller Williams Real Estate with this week's Real-Time Real Estate Report. Home inspections, one of the most important parts of the home buying process for the buyer and one of the most dreaded parts for the seller. It is a rare property that escapes a home inspection unscathed. Home inspections are so important that in my office we have to have our buyers sign a form acknowledging that their agent has discussed the importance of getting a home inspection. So what's the big deal? Well, you wouldn't buy a used car without checking out the car facts or bringing it to a mechanic. So you certainly should not buy a previously owned home without a thorough inspection. You've got to hire someone to kick the tires and look under the hood and in the attic and the basement and, oh yeah, those crawl spaces. Every house has a history and a good home inspector can tell you its story. Often I'm asked by buyers, do I need to be at the home inspection? My answer is always yes. The whole point of the home inspection is to teach you, the buyer, about your new home. A good home inspector will encourage you to follow them throughout the house and ask questions. Whether problems or defects are found, the home inspection ultimately allows you, the buyer, the opportunity to learn about the house you're purchasing and how the systems in that house function and need to be maintained. So here are a few tips for both buyers and sellers when you're preparing for a home inspection. Buyers first. A home inspection will cost you roughly $500 and up, depending on the size of the home. Plan to block out two to three hours for the home inspection and plan to be present for the entire inspection. During the inspection, ask those questions. This is your only opportunity to touch and feel and see the systems in operation. A home inspector often provides invaluable information during the inspection. I can honestly say I personally learn something at every home inspection I attend. For example, did you know that if you have vinyl windows, you should always have them locked when they're closed? If not, they can warp very easily and not function properly. Okay, so now the seller's turn. Disclose, disclose, disclose. If something is not working or is broken in your home, disclose it. If things are working and functioning properly, make sure they can operate at the time of the inspection. In other words, if you have an oil-fired heating system, make sure there's oil in the tank. If you have gas appliances or a gas fireplace, make sure the pilot light is lit. All appliances are tested by the home inspector, so remove any debris or dishes from sinks, tubs, dishwashers, ovens, cooktops. Remove any items blocking access to furnaces, hot water heaters, attics, crawl spaces, electric service panels, etc. If an inspector is unable to access these areas, guess what? It can fall on the seller to pay for the inspector to return at a later date. When both buyer and seller do their part, a home inspection can go very smoothly, leaving the buyer more educated and more committed to purchasing than before the inspection. If you're a buyer or a seller and have questions for me regarding the home inspection process, give James a call here at the radio station and he can get us connected. I'm Amy Shea, and I would love to welcome you home.